Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get the updates. Really for today's video is uh, Beer by Fidens. It's heavy cut, it's a double uh, IPA, and it is Mosaic, Citra, and Galaxy, 8% ABV, and it is just under three weeks old at time of review. Yeah, I'm really excited. Proper glassware, gotta mention that, so you know it's gonna taste better. What a hop combination. Can't believe I just spilled some. Someone will say alcohol abuse or something in the comment section. All right. So, yeah, I mean, that is thick. I would say it's a little bit beyond hazy even, but not quite full on like butternut squash soup, but maybe somewhere between those two things. Uh, deep, deep orange. It's kind of, I mean, the way the lighting is, because it's so thick, I have a very dark orange, approaching actually brown in the dead center, but I'm thinking of the way the lighting is for you. It's probably like a really nice orange color. Maybe, maybe yeah, a little bit of yellow mixed in. Uh, not much head. Eh, didn't kick up too much. So yeah, not much of a head. Um, lacing sticks around for a little bit. Some legs, kind of makes sense. You know, it's 8%, so a little bit of legs, but it did go away too. Definitely looks like a New England style double IPA is a short version. Let's get into the aroma. Oh man, okay. So I wasn't gonna mention this because I think I've talked about it enough, but I guess I have to. Um, Galaxy, haven't been getting a ton of pineapple lately. Every once in a while I kind of get blessed with like, oh yeah, it's actually kicking out some of that like, I don't know, it, probably the crops change because I don't think I'm the only person saying this, but like Galaxy, like I think of like uh, Treehouse is Green, it was like canned crushed pineapple. You open it up, you know, kind of a, an aroma, and sometimes you know, you know, uh, one of the things you would taste as well. And um, it's like mosaic. I used to get more berry with it, you know. And um, and every once in a while, you still can get some pineapple, you know, out of the galaxy. You, you still can get, or at least me, uh, some berry out of mosaic, but it's just less often. It feels like that's why I was like, whoa. When I smelled it, because I actually got a decent amount of pineapple. Some real nice orange. Mango, beyond the pineapple, orange, and mango, I'm about to say generic tropical fruit. A little bit of like a beer dankiness, you know, kind of like, like there's, it's super fruity. It's like ripe fruit. But then there's just enough of this thing that's like, don't forget it's a beer though. It's not straight juice. And for me, it's kind of like this hybrid of just quote unquote beeriness and also a little bit like this dank thing. Mm, peach rings, there it is. Finally got the trifecta for Citra. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. That's nice, nice mouthfeel. Like I was going on and on and on about in the aroma. It has a lot of nice juicy qualities. Really follows the aroma, you know, like, I mean, the first thing I kind of commented on was the pineapple, but maybe a little bit more orange in the taste, but I definitely get the pineapple, I get some nice mango. The mango's not as ripe, it's not coming across as ripe as the other fruits are. Peach, it's like, yeah, relatively ripe peach, maybe even almost a little bit peach ring. The pineapple is nice. It's it's up there with like the highest amount of pineapple I've gotten out of a Galaxy beer. I'll just say in a while, like in a long while. Um, yeah, really nice that way. Nice mouthfeel. If I forgot to say that. And again, it has that sweetness of the ripe fruit, but then some bitterness kicks in. I gotta go in and see if it's still if I want to say the, the dank word. But yeah, like beeriness to it for sure. And, and that bitterness is there, but it's not overly done. I'm like salivating. I'm like so into this beer. Okay. Let me let me amend the mango thing. It's pretty ripe mango too. So yeah, you're definitely getting... And anymore, maybe I'm just like spoiled with beers or whatever because like... I'm, wa I'm wondering if for some people, if this would be, if they would describe it as like 
like overly ripe you know like, like almost on the verge of rotten because it's so ripe uh, but for me I'm gonna say it's it's definitely ripened fruits I think yeah I want to use that word dank it's it but it's not overly done and it is more danky weedy than pine um, so it does have like a little bit of an old school I mean I can get that with citra a little bit and you'll notice you know I, I talked a lot about the galaxy with the pineapple that mosaic like I said earlier I'm not getting berry I don't know I just I'm not getting blueberry like I used to I think the mosaic is kind of I don't know, one time this was a while ago I, I had heard mosaic um, what did they say it was something like citra on steroids which I never I didn't feel like that I'm like no no like I get this berry thing with mosaic but I'm kind of wondering in a beer like this where I am getting like really nice what I only attribute to citra if the mosaic's playing into that as well i don't know i'm super curious if people have had this beer or just mosaic lately like i, I kind of want this conversation how much berry are you getting uh have you ever gotten and are you currently getting the last like year or so and i guess same thing with a galaxy and pineapple and it's funny because i say all this but the citra almost every single time like clockwork i get the orange peach and mango that i always get yeah there's like this greens kind of a thing in the aroma I'm getting now finally last thing before I wrap it up I, I'm gonna really I, I'm <laughs> I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong and if you watch like some of the mystery beers and all that fair enough there's this X factor I can't put my finger on and I think mosaic is probably uh, the culprit of that but it's not berry it's not berry it's nice though yeah man that sweetness and then that bitterness kicks in but then some of the sweet fruitiness still mm. not overly fruit gum but there's a little bit of that too. It's not, I've had some nice beers lately that had like a big bubble gum thing in it. It's not full on that, but it's like this hybrid of like confectionery, bubble gum, and fruit. Um, yeah, this is a nice beer. This is a really nice beer. It's going down a little, a little too easy for the 8%, but it'll be all right. Uh, have you had this beer before? Have you had these hops? You want to talk about them like I was getting at before, especially like with the Galaxy with the pineapple, the Mosaic with the berry. You still get in the trifecta with the Citra, or you have completely different thoughts than I do, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.